Close your eyes and send your attention on the breath. We live in a world where there's a lot of change, and it's good to have something that's reliable inside, because otherwise the mind is even more changeable than the world. It can turn around so quickly that the Buddha, who is a master of comparison, said there's nothing to compare with how quickly the mind can change direction. So we have to take this part that's inside ourselves and change it in a good direction and see if we can keep it there. As the world changes, people come, people go. We want to have at least something solid in the mind. So that can be our refuge. The world is not our refuge. We come into the world, we've got a body, and even though we have to depend on the body, we find that the body needs to depend on things outside, and things outside are unstable. It's all very all very changing all the time. So try to find something inside that's more solid. Your awareness is always here, and as long as you're alive, your breath is always here. To try to bring those two things together and get them on good terms so they can stay together consistently, stay together smoothly, stay together with a sense of well-being. That way, whatever changes there are outside, you don't have to suffer quite so much for them. In fact, when the mind is really well trained, the Buddha said it's like a stone column, sixteen spans tall, eight spans buried deep in the rock. So whatever direction the wind comes from, it, this column doesn't shiver or shake. It stands firm. You want to find that part of your mind that has that quality, the, the part that's firm, that can be with loss, that can be with aging, illness, and death, and not suffer from these things. We can find that only inside, and only by developing it. So work on it. It's something that can be found, something can be developed. There's a lot in the world that we can't change, but we can change our own minds. Let's change them in the right direction, and keep them in the right direction, firmly established right here. That way, whatever changes come, the mind isn't pushed into doing something unskillful, because it's usually through suffering or through fear of suffering that we do unskillful things in life. But if we have something that can't be touched by things outside, and then there's nothing to fear. At least that much gets saved. At least that much stays with us. And we'll find that it's actually the best part of life. The part that stays solidly with us inside.